Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is working wonders for Manchester United right now. The Norwegian has now won eight consecutive games since taking the reins after their 3 1 win against Arsenal in the FA Cup on Friday evening at the Emirates. Of course, it wasn't exactly an impossible task to fill Jose Mourinho's shoes at Old Trafford considering the terrible football he had his side playing. But Solskjaer was returning to his former club with very little managerial experience. His previous spell in management in England saw him fail to save Cardiff City from relegation. Prior to that, Solskjaer was managing Mould in his native country, a club he returned to following his spell at Cardiff. In total, Ole had spent six years at Mould, three years before the Cardiff job and three years afterward, before United appointed him as interim boss. But Solskjaer does have previous managerial experience of sorts at Old Trafford. He stepped into coaching with the reserves and took over as manager in the summer of 2008 and remained in that role until January 2011. And, during that time, he won the Reserve Premier League in 2010. United triumphed on penalties against Aston Villa at Old Trafford after a 3 3 draw. But what happened to the squad that played that day? Well, let's take a look. Foster found himself batting with Edwin van der Sar for the number one spot at Man United and could only manage 23 appearances for the first team. Permanent spells at Birmingham and West Brom followed and he's still a Premier League goalkeeper at the age of 35 at Watford. One of the most successful players from this reserve side in terms of appearances for the first team. The Brazilian played 169 times for United during his career and the 28-year-old is still going strong at Lyon in France. A defender with massive potential but his career was ultimately ended by injuries. By the age of 15. Dudgeon had appeared for Man Utz under 18 side and also got himself a first team squad number during the 209 tenths campaign. But he left the club without making a first team appearance and had to retire in 2015 after a short spell with Hull. At 28, Dudgeon works as a youth coach for Northern Ireland and Manchester City, who he also acts as a scout. Another player from this successful reserve side that failed to make a first team appearance. Evans spent two seasons at Hull and is now currently in his sixth season at Blackburn Rovers. Dali was actually named Reserve Player of the Year following United's success and had already made six first-team appearances. But he failed to play a further game and had numerous loan spells before a permanent move to Leicester. He then rather incredibly, managed to win the Premier League with Leicester and while on loan with Middlesbrough, helped them gain promotion from the Championship. He's now at Aston Villa but currently on loan at Melbourne City in Australia. And it seems he's found his feet as a striker, playing up front and scoring six goals in 14 games this season.
the son of former Manchester United chief executive David Gill, Oliver won the Reserve Player of the Year in 2011. However, after a brief loan spell at Bradford, he decided to study economics at Durham University. Norwood is establishing himself as a bit of a championship legend after spells at Huddersfield, Reading, Brighton, Fulham and now Sheffield United, all in the second tier. At 27, he's running out of time to make his first ever Premier League appearance. Fantastic name, not quite a fantastic career. Eight first-team appearances including playing in the 2009 League Cup victory. Four years later, he was appearing in Brazil's fourth division. At the age of 28, he now finds himself at Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Stewart didn't make it at the Theatre of Dreams and spent time at Hull, Ipswich and Lincoln City. He's only 27 but he's currently without a club. Who can forget that wonder goal against Aston Villa during in April, 2009, a crucial goal that helped them see off Liverpool to win the Premier League. That goal alone probably helped him stay at United far longer than he probably should have done playing 36 times in total, scoring just 5 goals. Permanent moves to Cardiff and Serie B side Novara followed. He's now in Greece with Panavinkaikos and has scored 5 in 11 this season. Interestingly, United actually signed Diaf from Mold where he had scored 45 goals in 86 games. But the striker only managed nine games for United's first team before a move to Hanover in Germany. He returned to England with Stoke, where he is now playing championship football. Goalkeeper Zeller also moved to Hanover after leaving United with zero first team appearances. After six years in Germany, he returned to England with Leicester before going back to his native country with Stuttgart, where he remains. Wooten actually played four times for the first team, including a 5-4 loss to Chelsea in the League Cup. He's since had spells at Leeds and MK Dons. He's now playing in League One for Plymouth Argyle. The French winger managed 28 appearances for United before playing for Newcastle for five seasons. One season stints at Angie McHatchkala and Wigan followed before he signed for his current club, Livski Sofia, in July 2017. Injuries have been tough on Keane who would surely have played more than three times for the first team otherwise. He signed permanently for Hull in 2016, but has only managed 26 matches for them. He's currently on loan at Ipswich, who are currently bottom of the championship. Pogba was just 17 at the time and had to make do with a place on the bench. He's now worth £89 million and looks is considered one of the best midfielders in world football on his day.